The indicated operation is multiplication. When we multiply fractions, we want to try to divide out common factors before we multiply across. We will factor the numerator and denominator of each fraction in order to do that. So in the first fraction, we have that, the difference of two squares on the top. x squared minus 1 factors into x minus 1, x plus 1. The denominator, x plus 2, is already factored. Uh, in the second fraction, we have x plus 2, which is already factored. And in the denominator, we have the difference of two squares, which factors into 1 minus x, 1 plus x. We can now divide out common factors. We notice that we have a common factor of x plus 2, so we can divide that out. Now, x plus 1 is actually the same as 1 plus x by the commutative property of addition. So we can divide out those factors as well. We notice that we have x minus 1 and 1 minus x. Remember that those are considered opposites of one another. So in fact, the x minus 1 can be written as negative 1 times 1 minus x, which will give us 1 minus x in the denominator. Now we note that we have common factors which can be divided out, which leaves us with negative 1 for our answer.